Okay. Tell me about your kids. Well, this is Cassius. He's eight. Um, and he has Phelan McDermott syndrome. And this is Harper. She's four. And she has Khaleesi syndrome. It's nice to meet you, Harper. <laughs> does she like meeting new people? She does. She's a social butterfly. Um, very inquisitive, always into everything. Whereas Cassius is more of an introvert. He keeps to himself. Huh. Loves his quiet and his personal space. It's nice to meet you, Cassius. Now these are two de novo disorders, aren't they? Correct. Can you explain what that means? Um, that means that it was not inherited. Um, so their dad and I had genetic testing done and our chromosomes are perfectly intact. Um, they said it's like being like struck by lightning twice, it doesn't happen. Um, it's less than 1% chance. And somehow it happened twice to us. <laughs> So, and the most unique thing about it is that they, it's two separate genetic disorders, it's not the same genetic disorder. So Cassius has a deletion in his 22nd chromosome, and Harper has a deletion in her 9th chromosome. Hey Harper! You seem to have a calming effect on Cassius. Yeah. He's been my best friend since the day he was born. Yeah. I like Cassius is like once he was born like I was immediately drawn like this is my person I must protect him uh, and that's what I've done and how much older are you than him um so I'll be 16 this year and he's eight tell me about Madison's relationship with Cassius and Harper Madison is the most extraordinary person you'll ever meet she has the biggest heart um I don't want to cry she there's nobody like her. Um, she is her brother's person. He thrives around her. I mean, I, I'm sure you could see she got him to sit still. We don't even have that magical superpower over Cassius. We can't get him to sit still. The day he was born, I knew I got a best friend for life. Yeah. yeah. Do you plan to always be there for him? Yeah. I already told my mom, like once like they passed away, Cassius is mine. I don't care. He's mine. Do you think about that a lot? Yeah, like, I know, like, it'll be difficult, but we've already, I already know everything about him. Like, he's my best friend. I could never lose him. How would you describe your family? Uh, very crazy, um, <laughs> but fun. Um, you never know what to expect. Um, it's always something different. Um, and then seeing them just do new things is, right. is actually Their inch stones are amazing. Awesome. Tell me about their inch stones. What is Harper working on right now? Um, she's working on walking independently. Um, she just started walking independently a couple weeks ago, actually. Um, so we're just working on like our balance, being able to get up after falling, things like that. And she's also working on using her words. Because as you can see, she has hearing aids. Yeah. So she's hard of hearing. But every day she's learning a new word. Ew! If somebody wants to be Harper's friend, what should they do? <laughs> You're not funny. <laughs> just like talk to her, like pick her up, hold her, like anything. She loves people. You could just say hi to her and she'd be your best friend. Huh. Huh. Hi, Harper. Hey. It's so nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. this? Tell me about your relationship with your brother. Um, pretty hectic. <laughs> Whenever he's sad, normally all he wants is his big sister. And... Harper gets jealous of that. If I'm holding one of them, the other one's upset and like tries to jump on me. And then when I try to cuddle them both at the same time, that <laughs> doesn't work. One of them's always gotta be like, if Harper's sitting right here, Cassius will try like sitting on her. I'm like, you can't do that. 
and he doesn't care like he's like you're my big sister you you're mine first and she's like no this is my sister he's like i want you guys to live yeah. right does he always just want to pace around always wants to pace around i mean sometimes he wants to snuggle um but he doesn't like to be in the same space as harper very often where she's trying to be in his space and wants to be with brother, he doesn't. She does not like him to be upset though. If he starts physically crying, she will. She will freak cry. out. <laughs> yeah, she will freak out. She looks concerned when he made the sounds that sounded a little bit more sad. Yeah, she's definitely. She worries about him. Do you love your brother? Yes. <laughs> So she pulls you closer. Yeah. No, he's fine. I promise. He's fine. She just needs me to reassure her that Cassius is fine. Does she want to interact with him, but Cassius prefers solitude? Yes. Very much so. What's that like? It's sad, but also amusing sometimes just to watch them interact. Um, because he will interact with her if she has something that he wants. <laughs> um, What's that typically? Her drink or her food. <laughs> yeah. But she's super smart. She'll go to the pantry um, and get snacks and feed them to Cassius to get Cassius to interact with her. Tell me about your brother's pacing. Uh, whenever like he can't sleep or like he's excited or something, like any time of day. He'll be pacing or running, and I think it's just a way for like him to get out his energy and um, just for him to like to express himself instead of because he's not a very like sit down person. It's hard enough to get him to go to bed. Like he likes to be at all times. What's that like for you when you're trying to sleep? Um, I'm used to it by now. Like, and even if sometimes, like, when he can't sleep, like, I'll bring him into my room and turn on trolls on my phone and just cuddle there with him and he'll fall asleep eventually. <laughs> He's a happy boy today. How can you tell? Uh, he's smiling and just running and laughing. What did the doctors tell you after Cassius was diagnosed? They didn't know a lot about his syndrome in particular because he has a ring chromosome. So there's less than 100 diagnoses with ring. Really, they don't know a whole lot. He's a pretty amazing dude. Like, just get to know him a little bit and he'll be your best friend for life. How can people get to know him? Um, just like talk to him like he's a normal person. Like, he may not understand, but like, if you're like smiling and laughing at him, like he'll like like wave his arms, like make noises, like to show that he's happy. Do you know of any other family with two kids who both have de novo disorders? No. So according to our geneticist and um, Children's Hospital, we are the only couple in the entire world. I guess they have like typical preemie charts and like things that milestones and things that they should be hitting. And Harper didn't fit in those categories, so they asked us to do genetic testing. But, and that's when they found out that she also had a deletion. And that's when we were told we were the only people in the world. <laughs> what did you think when the doctors told you you're the only known people with two de novo disorders in your family? Um, I cried cool. a lot. I thought it was cool. <laughs> yeah. Now I think it's neat. Harper has Cleefster syndrome. Um, which is a deletion or ninth chromosome. Um, again, don't know a whole lot about it. She was number 216 diagnosed um, back in 2019. Haven't met a whole lot of families that have it. Um, from my understanding, there's very few in the United States. Why is Harper amazing? Harper, you're amazing. You know that? You know why you're amazing? Because you're a people person. You like to make people smile. <laughs> You like to make people laugh. <laughs> Harper is very much a people person. She will go up to a random person, give them a hug, like she, and she's a drama queen. Like she will, 
go pick her up from daycare and she'll be in there like bossing all the little babies around and I'm like, what are you doing? She'll turn off trolls on him to get his attention. What does he do? Oh, he gets upset. Like if he doesn't watch trolls, then he's all over the place. Like he's crying, like pulling us, like trying to get us like to turn on trolls. No, when she does it, she's is she trying to be like pick at him or is she just trying to be his friend? Um, I think she's trying to pick at him when she turns off trolls and stuff. When she's going to get food for him, she's trying to be his friend. Um, cause she'll try to like hold his hand and things like that when she's feeding him. You seem to be very um, accepting and accommodating to both of them though. Yeah, cause I'd rather them feel accepted than disregarded. Cause if somebody like just disregards them, like people may not know it, but that's gonna stick with them. Like, hey, like this is how outside people are gonna treat me. Like, and that's another reason why people aren't like Cassius doesn't like people, cause there's people that stare at him and just like are just like, what's wrong with him? And they don't ask. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Don't judge a book by its cover. Just because things may look different doesn't mean that they're not incredible.